Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be proving to you guys that 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. So, to do this proof, what I'm first going to do is start with a true statement that 0 is equal to 0, which is obviously a true statement because any number is equal to itself. Now, from here, what I'm going to do is rewrite 0 on my left-hand side as 20 minus 20, and rewrite the 0 on my right-hand side as 25 minus 25. So now I get 20 minus 20 is equal to 25 minus 25, which is again a true statement, because 20 minus 20 is 0, and 25 minus 25 is also 0. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite 20 as 4 times 5. So now I get 4 times 5 minus 4 times 5 is equal to 25. I'm going to rewrite this as 5 times 5. So I get 4 times 5 minus 4 times 5 is equal to 5 times 5 minus 5 times 5. And now, if I have something in the form a times b minus a times b is equal to b times b minus b times b, which is this form, well, notice how we can change the, we can like simplify this by factoring out a greatest, the greatest common factor. So for my left hand side, we have a greatest common factor of either a or b because both of them are in both terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as a times b minus b. Basically, I factored out a. Now, for my right-hand side, all we have is b because that's the only term for my right-hand side. So I'll just factor out b. So I get b times b minus b. So now, in the case of this, for my left-hand side, I'm going to factor out 4. So I get 4 times 5 minus 5 which is equal to, from my right-hand side, I'm going to factor out 5. So I get 5 times 5 minus 5. So now I have 4 times 5 minus 5 is equal to 5 times 5 minus 5. And what we can do over here is, if I have something in the form a times b minus b is equal to b times b minus b, we'll notice how we can just cancel these two out, meaning that a is equal to b. So in this case, I have 4 times 5 minus 5 is equal to 5 times 5 minus 5. We divide both sides by 5 minus 5. And these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I am left with 4 is equal to 5. Now, going back to our original equation, I said that I was going to prove that 2 plus 2 is equal to 5, right? Well, what is 4 equal to? 4 is equal to 2 plus 2. So I get 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. So I just proved that 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. And now I know what you're thinking. This is mathematically, this is mathematically incorrect, right? How can 2 plus 2 equals 5 when 2 plus 2 is equal to 4? Well, look back here and try to figure out where I made an error. So the error is actually right here in this step where I divided both sides by 5 minus 5. So let me write this right here. I have 4 times 5 minus 5 is equal to 5 times 5 minus 5, right? Well, instead of just going on and dividing both sides by 5 minus 5, what is 5 minus 5? 5 minus 5 is equal to 0, right? So this is basically 4 times 0 is equal to 5 times 0. And then now, if I divide, if I try to divide both sides by 0, well, 0 divided by 0, that is not equal to 1. 0 divided by 0, that's indeterminate. So we can't, we can't actually cancel these out because if we cancel it out, we're implying that 0 divided by 0 is equal to 1, which is wrong. So that's actually where I made the mistake when I canceled out the 5 minus 5s. I wasn't allowed to do that because that's basically dividing 0 by 0, and that is against the laws of mathematics. So... This means that 2 plus 2 is not equal to 5. So, yeah. 
All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of two. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm gonna first start by rewriting my equation. So x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of two. And now I'm gonna divide both sides by x to the power of two. So if I divide both sides by x to the power of 2, I get x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to x to the power of 2 over x to the power of 2. And x over x to the power of 2 over x to the power of 2, these two cancel out, and I get 1. So I get x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, over a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of x over x to the power of 2, that's the same thing as x to the power of x minus 2, which is equal to 1. Now, I'm going to take the natural log or ln on both sides. So I get ln x to the power of x minus 2 is equal to ln 1. So if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front. So it's going to equal b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x minus 2. And I can move this to the front. So I get x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1. Now I can distribute the ln x. So I get x times ln x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1. And ln 1, that's equal to 0. ln 1 equals 0. So now I get x times ln x minus 2 times ln x is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to go back and factor out ln x. So I get ln x times x minus 2 is equal to 0. And now I get two equations. I get ln x is equal to 0. And I also get x minus 2 is equal to 0. So for ln x equals 0, we already know that ln of 1 is 0, right? So x equals 1. That's one solution of x. And for x minus 2 equals 0, that's simple. All we have to do is add 2 on both sides. And I get x is equal to 2. So x equals 1 and x equals 2 is my solutions. Now, going back to the original equation, we have x to the power of x equals x to the power of 2. So to check, I'm going to first start by plugging in x equals 1. So if I plug in x equals 1, I get 1 to the power of 1 is equal to 1 to the power of 2. 1 to the power of 1 is 1, and 1 to the power of 2 is also 1. So this is right. Now if I plug in x for 2, I get 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. And 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, so this is right as well, meaning my two solutions are right.